Happy Monday, everybody. I was going to jump into today's daily devotion. Uh, I was reading Proverbs uh, chapter 14, actually, and there's a few verses that really stuck out to me. Um, and I was thinking about, you know, this past weekend I was sharing with um, Carol Life Ministries, with our church, that about um, seeking truth. And that in seeking truth, it's not the what that we're seeking, it's the who. We know that Jesus brought truth to every situation that he came to. We understand that God sent truth through Jesus. We understand that the revealer of truth is in the Holy Spirit. And so we are seeking moments for the Holy Spirit to reveal truth to us. And uh, I was reading in Proverbs as I was reading, I was thinking about how we go through moments where we, we hurt and we go through moments where we have joy and that there are sometimes lessons that we need to learn um, stem really from choices we made. I'm, I'm going to read, um, I'm going to pick up and I was reading five, well I was reading all of 14, but really first 10 through 14 struck me and said, don't expect anyone else to fully understand both the bitterness and the joys of all you experience in your life. And I want to say real quickly right there that how often when we're experiencing something and we're looking for someone to have empathy and we're looking for someone, we want them to notice. We don't want to tell them. We don't want to have to explain something. We want them to just know. But the reality is sometimes someone will not know your experience and so they don't know your trauma they don't know your pain they don't know how you hurt they don't know how you react they don't know how you um, interact because of things experiences you've had and so sometimes you've got to let people know sometimes you have to be bold and just be truthful and honest with them and and in that truth they then can come alongside you the household of the wicked is is soon torn apart while the family of the righteous flourishes you can rationalize it all you want and justify the path of your air you have chosen, but you'll find out in the end that you took the road to destruction. And I want to speak to the person right now who is like, how did I get here? How did I get to this moment? How did I get to this situation right here? And I feel like I'm being destroyed. I feel like that I cannot move forward. I want you to understand that part of right now the moment is a repentance it's a moment of understanding saying you know what i know i made this choice i i understand that you know i reacted i did things out of my trauma out of my pain out of my hurt out of past experiences that caused bitterness in my heart and someone didn't understand what was going on and so i reacted and i acted and i did this and now here i am i'm in this moment and i just want you to know that you can repent and that god can restore that was what Jesus did. The truth that he brought is that there is restoration to every person in every situation. Move on. Superficial laughter can hide a heavy heart, but when the laughter ends, the pain resurfaces. And I think about all the times that people mask their pain with not just addiction, not just drugs or alcohol, but pornography, food, um, sex, um, relationships. Uh, I don't know, you name it. What is it? The thing that masks the pain and you enjoy the moment, that superficial laugh. I'm having the best time of my life. And yet the reality is when that moment's gone, the pain is still there. And this is a moment where you can repent and turn and be restored. And we go on to say, those who turn from the truth get what they deserve, but a good person receives a sweet reward. And I know that that sounds so harsh, but when we make choices that take us away from what God's path is, what God's uh, best is for us, then unfortunately we have those consequences that we have to walk through. But when you repent, when you're able to recognize and say, you know what, I understand that because of some situations, some choices and things that happen, I'm, I'm kind of here. And in that repentance, know that the street reward is around the corner for you. Is it going to be perfect? Is it going to be just so easy? No, it's not. But I, I, I was so encouraged in just an understanding that, you know, there is a seeking of truth that we're looking for. And there is a seeking of the sweet reward 
that we're looking for, and we're all looking for wisdom. And it's not necessarily wisdom that comes from um, just revealing the Holy Spirit, but sometimes it's wisdom within ourselves. Sometimes there's truth to be revealed within ourselves. Uh, maybe there's bitterness. Maybe there is an anger. Maybe there is a hurt. Maybe there's a wound. Maybe there's something, inner healing, that you need to work through. And you need to be able to give that to the Lord and say, you know what? My reactions bring on destruction and they take me down a path that I don't need to go to. So I just want to encourage you as you're looking for revelation of truth, as you're seeking the wisdom of the, of the Lord, know that you have um, moments right now to repent and to be restored and that God is not done using you and in fact is he has incredible big things that he wants to call you to um, but we sometimes have to make sure that we get ourselves in a path to be used love you guys have a great one we'll see you soon